Hello everyone and welcome in this new video about Starcraft 2. My name is Zucha and today I will present you an amazing build order in PvP. If you are a Protoss player, I'm pretty sure that you know this sound. And today you will totally love it. This build order is divided into two timings and it's really easy to execute for any player. Between if you want to give me a feedback about my content, you can post a message in the comment section below and if you are more content, you can ask me too. For example, if you want a precise build order for the next video. And if you really enjoy my content, you can subscribe to my channel, you will be notified for my next video. Anyways, let's go to the game. I will show you two games about this build order, so you will see this one is almost the perfect situation with the perfect timing and the next one will show you the second timing push. So let's start with the game. I will do a wall, so I open with a 14 pylon over there. My first chrono boost will be on the economy, so it's really classic, really classic. And I will add my first gate at 16 in the wall. The wall is important because you need to counter some adept pressure sometimes and it's useful for that. You will see that on the next game. So I add my first gas at 17 and next gas at 17 or 18 as you want. My second chrono boost will be on the economy again. And I will add my second gate. Like this. I will add two probes in each gas. And I will add the third probe just when I have 16 probes on the mineral line. I will add my Cybernetic core right now, just after the gate. Here. And as you can see, there is opponent probe in the middle of the map. It means that he scooted at the same timing as me. So standard opening for him, basically. It's good for me. It's really good because I can fake some tech. And you will see I will fake some tech because I do a DT rush, a DT rush, really powerful build. So there is nothing special. As soon as my Cybernetic Core finished, I add one Stalker, which is Chrono Boosted, and I will add one Stargate. Why adding a Stargate? Because the opponent will think that it's a Stargate Rush. Yes, it's maybe a Stargate Rush, but no, <laughs> no, it's not. With the Stargate Rush, there is two reactions. You can do a Stargate 2, in order to counter a Stargate Rush, and you can do a Blink Tech, but in both situations, there is no detection. It's what I want. I don't want any detection from him. So I cancel my Stargate as soon as he go out of my base, and I add a Twilight Conceal. Then I add two Stalkers, and I put them over there, in order to counter some prop scoot. I add my third pylon and my probe, my scooting probe is hidden on the, on the map. Simple, very really simple. So I have three probe in each gas. So as soon as my trail conceal end, I will put my dark shrine. So you will see I have enough, enough gas. Enough. <laughs> um, as soon as my dark shrine is launched, I will do my Nexus over there. So there is some pressure, but nothing important. I will just add a battery shield in my wall in order to counter some pressure. So for example, four stalkers pressure can be held with that. There is no robo. Why no robo? Because I don't need it. There is no good, there is no good reason to do a dark shrine uh, in reaction of a Stargate, because there ca it can, the opponent can make like two Oracle and totally all it. So almost no opponent will do a Dark Shrine too. So there is some pressure. I go to my base and behind my battery shield. So it's hold. 
I add one pylon over there in order to do my GT push and you will see I will add the Lord Charge just after my two dark my two GT Dark Templar. So right now I will add my two DT over there and launch my Zillow charge. Simple, really simple. If we do some pressure, I can recall one DT and attack with the other one, like for example forget. If you do a forget. So I do Zillow charge in order to do the next timing push, but you will see no need to do a timing push. I will just win with that. And why I win? Because he think that I did a stargate opening, but it was it wasn't a, star, um, a stargate opening. It was just a GT opening. And he had no robo. It did a blink tech, but useless against it. So it's uh, the first game, and now and now sorry, we will see the next one. The second game is against Sony. He has been GM several seasons. It's a good player. And I play him many times, so he know how I play, he know that I like strange build, and he know how to scoot. So you will see the game right now. I open with the standard opening, will go a little bit faster, because you know how the build works at the beginning. So, 14 pylon, 16 gate, 17 gas, and 18 gas, then another gate, then scoot, simple. Really simple. So, a little bit faster. So, I put my second gate. I scoot. I add my cybernetic core. And I will scoot him in the middle of the map. So, he's here. I know that he scooted at the same timing as me. Now, let's see what he did. I go in his base. So there is a standard opening over there. And he stay in my base. It's really annoying for me. Really annoying for me. So I will do my fake stargate build. So <laughs> I will cancel one stalker. Chrono boost the next one. And under stargate. He put a pylon close to my stargate. It's really important. Doing that means simply that he know that I can cancel it. He knows that I love cancel it and doing GT build, so he know my build. He know my build. I will put my toilet cancel and cancel my stargate as soon as he cancel his pylon, but he hide his probe right here and he will come in my base. I try to cancel this cut, but he saw the cancel. He saw the cancel. So now he is pretty sure that I do a GT push or a robo push. Because I fake a stargate, he knows that I do something weird. Something really strange. So my probe is hidden over there. I will add my dark shrine. So the same build, the same build right now. I will put my robo. So last game I didn't did it because it was a, an optimal situation, a perfect situation for me. But here he is know that there is no stargate for me. So he can do maybe a GT push too. So I add my robo. And as you can see, he scoot all the map with a stalker and he know that there, there is a probe in the map. He knows that it's a GT push. It's obvious. It's totally obvious for him. It's totally obvious for him. So he can do a GT push too, for example. But no problem for me. I had another probe in the map and I put my pylon right here. Just add my pylon. Now I will do my observer first. And I will chrono boost him in order to counter some DT pressure. There is no DT, but I can't see what he do. Right now, I will add my two first 
GG. And like last game, I will add charge just after that. But I don't have the same timing because I did a robo, I did an observer, and I didn't know what them. So I scoot, I don't scoot, I attack, and you will see he opened with a robotech. There is three sentries, there is four stalkers, there is one immortal. It's a bad situation for me. Bad situation. It's almost the worst situation. The worst situation for me. But the build order is totally amazing, and you can still win with it. So you added charge, and you will add more gate. You will go around eight gate. Eight gate is perfect. You will do no gas. Don't take your gas on expand. And the build is simple. Only Zilot and Archons. Zilot Archons, Zilot Archons, Zilot Archons. All your gas go on GT to do Archons and all your miner go on Zilot. It's simple. So you will see, I will add one gate over there in order to do my pressure. Pressure will come just before 7 minutes mark. It's the perfect timing to attack. Because if it, if it's a standard game, not a game like this, he, he add his Sir Nexus around 6, six minutes mark. So is in economy time. It's economy time, not produ producing unity. <laughs> Sorry. He don't produce units at this timing. So it's a perfect timing to attack. It's a counter timing for him. Um, so the best moment to attack. So you will see. I attack right now. Right now. And my gate will end as soon as I attack. In the perfect situation, you can attack with three Archons. But in this situation, I uh, I lost I lost one DT and I did my robo so I have not enough gas to do uh, to do a free archons push. Just attack before seven minutes mark. If he did a wall, which is the perfect things to do to counter this build, just focus the build, make an all inside and attack. Don't forget to kill the observer. Because if there is no observer, you can add more GT and pressure with them. So you will see. There is some force field, but I kill them with Archons. And I go inside him, just go inside him. I add more and more units, just add more and more units. There is another observer, so just kill it with your Archons, like this. Focusing. Then... If he want to go in his base, stay in the expand and kill the expand. Kill the expand. So you see, I added some GT in order to kill his, arm, his army, and I kill all his economy with my zealot. It's really hard to hold. Really, really hard to hold. And now, you see, the game is finished. You have. He has no economy, he has no units, and I have the perfect situation. For, I have the perfect situation. I don't lose my expand, and I will kill his expand. As soon as you kill his expand, just go back to your base with a recall. So you will see, I will just attach and recall all of my army. And the game is won at this timing. It's totally one because my army is perfect. So after that, I just have to mark through and I will win. I hope you like this video and thank you for support you gave me on the last video. It's really hard for me to do a full English content. You can see that with hesitation, I did all the video. But thank you for the support and see you in the next video. Bye.